Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, May 15th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the economic calendar at the beginning of the trading week. So overnight data, NAB business confidence from the Australia is on the same level of one um, the point inflation expectations in New Zealand drops from 2.5 percent to 2.3 uh, percent we are still l waiting for the consumer climate data from Switzerland uh, the market participants expect deeper uh, deterioration from minus 38 points to minus 40 European Union economic forecasts uh, data are scheduled for release at 11 a.m. and at noon we got the start of the Eurogroup meetings. Uh, building permits from Canada are scheduled for release at half past two and then we got the FOMC member Mester to give a speech at three o'clock. German Buba Vice President Buch will give a speech at three o'clock as well and then at quarter to seven Swiss National Bank Chairman uh, Chairman Thomas Jordan will give a speech as well. So not too many data releases during the uh, Monday um, uh, trading on the uh, US in the US. Uh, basically, uh, nevertheless, let's do the morning review of the majors. Euro dollar for our chart. A very interesting situation here as we are testing the trend line yet again. If you don't know what we are talking about because you just switched on, take a look at this. We got this trend line here uh, that started apparently in the March 8, 2024, and it's been tested plenty of the times. Uh, already and now we got another test of this um, of this uh, trend line uh, after the deep uh, towards the uh, 100 periods moving uh, average so let's just dig in a little bit deeper let me just uh, make the chart a little bit uh, bigger there you go so we got the test of this trend line let me just move it a little bit lower there you go and this is how it's supposed to looks like right now and yet again it was rejected so we have a couple of bars or candles uh, with long upper shadows means that uh, market is rejecting the higher uh, levels the recent uh, swing high let me just move this tr this uh, line uh, here uh, the red one the recent uh, swing high is located uh, at the level of uh, 1.0813 okay so that's another technical resistance we got our uh, trend line uh, trend line here we got the bullish engulfing uh, pattern of course uh, now uh, we got this um, little bit uh, narrower the um, uh, supply zone 1.0792 1.0796 and this supply zone has been very very effectively uh, preventing bulls from rallying despite the fact that the momentum is apparently positive maybe not that strong but yet still positive this uh, demand zone uh, here that you see between the levels of um, 1.0741 um, 1.0753 is no longer that um, that important so let's just mark another uh, another um, zone that might be a little bit uh, a little bit more important than the this one um, let me just zoom out because I need to move my I need to move my uh, my zone oh, there you go so we will move from from this level somewhere around here of course and now the new uh, demand zone oh, let me just zoom in back on will be located somewhere between the levels of 1.0650 uh, 1.067 uh, of course uh, so this is the new uh, the new demand zone and there you go so it's on on green now uh, we might I think we might adjust the trend line here maybe not that uh, not that good um, as the as the orange one but there might be some sort of the trend line here uh, that must be tested before the 
uh, downside movement will occur. We got our demand zone. Then, of course, the, the other uh, swing low 1.0603 would be re uh, considered as the demand uh, zone as well. 1.0612, 1.063 would be uh, another uh, demand zone. Uh, we got the pin bar here of course there's the there's the pin bar we got the bullish engulfing pin bar bearish engulfing here on the top then we got the bullish engulfing here uh, again so uh, let me just copy this and uh, place the uh, there's a bearish engulfing which is very important and now this is the bullish uh, engulfing so uh, this situation here is still not clear uh, for either bulls or bears so we got another bullish engulfing very nice then we have a couple of the pin bars just around the 50 periods moving average so basically this market looking at the structure of this market with this very very big uh, butt tick um it still looks very corrective it's not an impulse so uh any breakout below the demand zone would be of course um bearish uh, and uh, any breakout above the eventually one of these zones here would be bullish and then of course that would mean that we are trading above the trend line as well anytime we break a trend line um from the um uh, from the downside to the upside it's always bullish so the at the beginning of the week the outlook remains um stable basically it, it should be uh, it should be still considered as a negative for the euro dollar because it's still trading below the uh, trend line now cable what is cable doing quite a similar situation to the euro dollar we got our scenario our breakout scenario above the trend line uh, i just uh, i need to zoom out above the trend line because uh, we are waiting for this uh for this uh breakout to the upside uh, but nothing like this happened yet uh we got some sort of the consolidation here let me just zoom in so you can see guys uh, very very clearly uh we got some sort of the consolidation around this um let's say this zone here 50 and 100 periods moving average 1.2513 1.25 23 nevertheless um it's still not what we are looking for because the local high was made at 1.2540 and right now um basically um uh, we are consolidating uh, uh, around this area right so intraday technical resistance we might uh, we might uh, eventually mark this one 1.2540 if there is a breakout above this uh, intraday technical resistance then the next target would be somewhere uh, this is the newest data next target will be somewhere 1.2609 so that's the scenario for the for the intraday breakout to the upside however this for our candle looks already bearish so we might see some sort of the consolidation here testing of the trend line and then the reversal uh, lower where is the technical support as you can see we got it here maybe i will just move it towards the newest data this pin bar low 1.24 to 40 uh, 45 and eventually 1.2466 6. momentum barely positive um bulls are in control of the market maybe only temporary because we might see very sharp reversal to the downside anytime soon us dollar to the japanese yen okay we got this movement to the downside completed we can remove it complex correction minus 5.2 percent in total so uh this one is no longer necessary whatsoever now um there you go this is the range we are we will be talking about from this high 160.20 to this low 151.87 movement to the upside is way above the level of 50 percent uh, but uh, let me just check it we got the fibonacci uh retracement so we can we can check it here how much did we basically retrace so we will move it from here uh to here that's our fibonacci and you can see that we retraced 50 percent there you go we retraced 50 percent 156.03 and right now the market is slightly consolidating uh, just uh, below this level let me mark this this level of 50 percent so there you go it, it will be black okay so the first black is a 50 percent if we copy this line the second one would be 61 percent of the correction to the downside 
157 uh, 157 um, is the level okay so oh, uh, yes there you go so now it's it's as it's supposed to be there you go two black levels any breakout above this two black levels means market wants to test this zone here big pin bar zone uh, bank of uh, japan intervention zone right so we want to see what is going on here if there are any sellers here or if because if they're not new high will be made but if there are any sellers here uh, swing down should be uh, should be uh, continued now um we are trading above 50 and 100 periods moving average the range is very narrow as the market is um, uh, preparing for the breakout to the upside or to the reversal of course right momentum positive strong um, pr uh, so the because of the uptrend in the background uh higher levels are preferred on the us dollar to the japanese Japanese yen. Okay, so we got the majors covered and last but not least, let's just talk about the Bitcoin. So what do we have here? Our scenario didn't actually uh, has been um, uh, hasn't been uh, actually, uh, let's say, um, completed yet because there is no decisive breakout uh, along the weekend. So this scenario is still valid uh, and it looks like this. Any dip towards the demand zone should be Oh, there you go. Maybe that would be better. Should be about back up and the market should rally. But any breakout below the level of 59,172 might exposure um, the 56,477 swing low. Momentum remains bearish, negative, but right now we are testing the level of 50. So maybe some sort of the uh, upside movement correction to the upside. Um, is now in progress if we apply short-term trend line let's uh, okay let's let's change it to uh, orange you can see that we are trading below the trend line which is why the outlook is more bearish than bullish but any breakout above this trend line would likely be considered a little bit more uh, positive for the bulls um, the, especially when uh let me just adjust the levels this level here is violated 63,500, uh, right so because this is the daily intraday the technical um resistance and of course uh, on the way we got 50 and 100 periods moving average the outlook r remains rather um negative because we're still trading below the trend line but any breakout is bullish in the short term for the bitcoin that's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.